Hey guys, let's talk about decentralized loans today and how we can borrow millions of dollars without requiring a credit score, social security number, and in some cases, even a collateral. First, let's talk about what is DeFi. DeFi stands for decentralized finance. Um, the opposite would be centralized finance, such as a bank where we have to go to apply for a loan, they would approve or reject our application but especially even based on maybe branches and things would be a bit different and then you would get approved and then you can use the loan in decentralized loans you are taking advantage of smart contracts so this would mean that decentralized loans uh, are only available on uh, platforms that offer smart contracts and such as ethereum maybe eos tron and such it would not be available on currencies such as bitcoin for example now, there are two types of decentralized loans that we'll be talking about today. The first type is called a collateral loan. And the second one, which is my personal favorite, is flash loans. One of the projects that is built on the Ethereum platform for collateralized loans is called MakerDAO. They essentially allow you to take your Ethereum, put it in a smart contract, and take a loan against it. it take, the collateral is the Ethereum. Uh, the advantage is, is you can take and put it in the smart contract anytime and you can also remove it at any time. And when you put your Ethereum, for example, you put $100 worth of Ethereum, you would get two thirds of its value in the loan. So for example, a collateral would be $100 worth of Ethereum, you would get $66 worth of DAI. Now, what is a DAI? It, it is a stable coin. And if you do not know what stablecoin is, let me give a quick recap. So what is a stablecoin? In a stablecoin, such as DAI, USDT, TUSDT, CUSD, SUSD, they all have a value which is similar to one US dollar. And different uh, currencies have a different way of maintaining it. I will be talking about today on how DAI maintains that uh, one dollar uh, or try to be as close to one dollar one us dollar so whenever you take out the loan you have to pay back the principal in the die the stable coin that we talked about earlier and the interest you will be paying back in the maker dow governance token and you put that into the smart contract to release the collateral of your ethereum when you repay back your loan with the DAI and the MakerDAO token, the DAI for the principal and the MakerDAO token for the interest, your Ethereum is released and they burn the excess DAI that you paid back and the MakerDAO token. You might be wondering on what is the interest rate for borrowing. Now this is determined by the people who own MakerDAO tokens. So the people who own the MakerDAO tokens have a say in the project. So the MakerDAO token is called a governance token and any such tokens where you have a say, you can vote on what you think the interest rate should be. If there are not enough people borrowing at a time, they would reduce the interest rate. And if there are too many people borrowing, they would increase the interest rate. So if there are there's too much loan out there and they have borrowed a quite a lot. They want to increase the interest rate because the value of the DAI will start deviating from the dollar. And to make sure that DAI stays as close to as the dollar value, they will increase the interest rate. Now, when the interest rate increases of your loan, a lot of people are incentivized to pay back. And this is exactly what MakerDAO, uh, the community uh, aims to achieve. So now let's talk about what I really am excited about sharing is how you can borrow like $10 million using flash loans. And one of the projects that I know that supports flash loan is Aave. So what's the catch? How I can borrow $10 million without requiring social security number, without requiring a credit score, without requiring collateral? The catch is you have to return it within one block transaction. Now, what does that mean? What does one transaction mean in a normal sense, in a layman's term? Um, basically, if you are a baker, for example, and you made some delicious cake, and I want to buy that delicious cake from you. Let's say I got $100, and I want to buy that cake from you. A pretty pricey cake, let's be real. So if I take the cake from you without giving you the dollar, it's technically not a proper transaction. 
the transaction hasn't completed till I give you the actual dollar, the actual hundred dollars. So you will only be satisfied when you give me the cake and I give you the hundred dollars. So how can you use a loan that you have to return back that instance or like within the same block? You can use it for arbitrages. Arbitrages, arbitrages. So you basically borrow money, finish your arbitrage, which I will be showing you how you can do it, and then return that money back with interest. So when the lender has the guarantee that you will be returning back their money, they are willing to put forward that that one million dollar and this is all done through smart contracts there's no like a single party uh, looking back at it or like investigating whether you'll be able to pay back no they, they will actually the smart contracts will just check that the input and the output should always have the output should have the loan amount in it so here i have created a whole flow chart of how we can find arbitrages using flash loans. I actually did a whole walkthrough of this um, till I realized I wasn't recording. So let's do this again. Um, so to create a, basically in this flow chart, what I'm doing is I'm taking a loan of $1 million, $1 million baby uh, of USDT. And then I'm taking that USDT, which is a stable coin and converting it to USDC, which is another stable coin. But since when it's a slightly large amount, uh, sometimes there are small deviations and with a million dollars, you can definitely see these deviations significantly more. So, you know, the $1 million will give me 999836 USDC. And if I take that and I convert back to USDT, Overall, this is an anti-arbitrage, which is you're not supposed to do this. You, you're basically losing money in this situation. But I'm showing you this because uh, if I did find a true arbitrage where I was making like $1,000, I would have executed that. But I didn't. So uh, how you can do this, I just use an app called furocombo.app. It's something on the internet, not affiliated or anything. And you click on these cool boxes. Click and then you just add like for example you add a flash loan like that so if you're like i want eth you want hundred dollars eth you got it but you have to pay the eth back plus the fees so hundred dollars plus the fees and uh in the middle you add like what you want to do with it and the swap so in an ideal world you should borrow your money do an arbitrage profitable arbitrage and then return the loan um, if you do this and then you can connect your MetaMask um, where you would be wallet would be uh, added to it and then you can click approve. One thing to note that is um, you have to remember that it's on the Ethereum network so there are transaction fees for verifying your uh, blocks. If you have like a lot of blocks it's going to be a little expensive. I once found a $9 upcharge. You know, I keep bragging about it, but the transaction fees was $18. I still went ahead with it because we wanted to see like how it works and I just wanted to see the end-to-end -end flow. So that end-to-end -end flow costed me $9. So this whole project did cost me more money than I made from it, but I like to think about it that uh, one day I will find that perfect arbitrage. Um, but anyways, after you connect your MetaMask wallet, you can click um, approve. And you have to remember that this is on decentralized exchanges why am i highlighting that is because they have usually liquidity pools instead of the normal order books that we are used to in liquidity pools you're slightly discouraged from having a big giant loan so right now i have one million dollar loan um which the the program if there there's like not like maybe 100 million dollars of uh worth of uh, usdt in it it will highly discourage me from going ahead with that and uh so clearly they, they would have had quite a few uh because they're giving me okay rates but if you see sometimes where you're swapping your one million dollars for like fifty thousand dollars that means you're you're trying to get a max out the liquidity pool and they're trying to highly discourage you so yeah, that's what I know about flash codes and I hope you found this interesting and happy Halloween and let me know what you think. Thank you.